You know you've made it in the fitness world when you get an exercise named after you. But are these exercises all hype, or do they actually have some merit? A perfect example is the Zotman Curl, named after late strongman George Zotman. And although there's one thing I don't like about this exercise, what I do like is that it works the biceps, brachialis, brachioradialis, supinator, and pronator muscles all in one movement. What I don't like is that we're missing out on the eccentric portion of the bicep curl and the concentric portion of the reverse curl, potentially leaving some gains on the table. So how do we get around this? Well, we have two options. Either you can perform separate exercises for all the muscles we mentioned earlier, or to save time, you can try this modified Zotman curl. Bicep curl concentric, pronate, reverse curl eccentric, reverse curl concentric, supinate, and finally, bicep curl eccentric. So it turns out the Zotman curl does have merit, and with that modification, we made it even better. So I've got to give props to George. 